Hey guys, welcome to the third part of my video tutorial on how to create a map for Supreme Command of Watch the Lines with AI support. In this tutorial I want to show you how to refine the height map that we created in World Machine and how to check on and fix the terrain so that the vehicles can move on it properly. Here you can see again my keystroke visualizer so you see which buttons I press and for those who don't know where to get uh, the editor you can download it here for example or just google it uh, when you download it the file you have to simply put it into your supreme commander installation directory and that's here and you have to have supreme commander 1 uh, because uh, with forged alliance uh, version of Supreme Commander, you cannot uh, use this map editor. Here are some things to know. When you go to view, then you can check these windows on and off, for example layers. This layers window shows you uh, where exactly you are and what piece you edit. For the beginning, we have to create a new map. So we go to File, New, then we put the name here. Then the next thing is we don't want to use an existing map, we want to create a new map. Width is again 1024 by 1024. Everything else we leave as it is and we press Create. Now you can see already a plane. When you press ALT and middle mouse button, you can rotate the camera around. With the mouse wheel, you can zoom in and out. To import our height map, you have to go to this button, Edit Layer Properties. And then here you can see Export Height Map and Import Height Map. So we want to import our height map. The previous lesson we exported this height map as an R16 from World Machine. You simply have to rename it to RAW. Here is our height map with all the erosions on it. So the next step is we click here on elevation. And to check our map, uh, we have to press the button O. And here you can see some color coding. This means that the green areas here you can build and vehicles can drive here. There were no color coding appears. You can only drive but not build. And the red areas show you you can not drive here and also not build. So we have to check out that uh, all the areas are reachable for the vehicles. For example, here, 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 and here is a player. So the player should be able to go down the ramps and to be able to reach all the areas that should be able to reach. So here is a uh, this is from exporting from Softimarsh still, so we can smooth that out here. So I choose the blur brush. So choose here the water drop symbol and choose blur. Here the strength you can set to very high. Then we blur that out. You can also hide the water. And if the blur is not enough anymore, then we just choose a brush. And when you hover with the mouse here, you can see here X, Y, and Z coordinates. So the 
coordinates for up and down is Y. So when you hover with the mouse in a specific region, you can see here we have 34, here we have 0 0.25. Smooth that out. Okay. I bring in the water again. Press O twice so it refreshes. And now I check on the ramps if they are okay. For example, this ramp is useless because no unit can drive here. So I go down a little bit with the smoothing to round one. Let me smooth here. So vehicles can use it. So this ramp here has a little problem. This ramp. Same here. Here, for example, if I want to pull that up a little bit, choose my brush, choose up. just so no units can go up here. They really have to use the ramp. Okay. The rest looks good, so now the opposite side. Okay, now we smooth that out again. It's not so pointed. Maybe the size can be smaller. Here in the middle part, this looks also a little bit artificial, so I will smooth that out.
That looks nice. So the next step is to check on the rest of the map if there are some ugly spikes or artifacts left. But you see here this square that's just in the editor that doesn't look that square when you play it in the game. Looks good. Okay. So to export this whole thing, we click again here on the Edit Layer Properties button. And then we say Export Height Map. And we call it Height Map Supreme Commander. Editor. Save. Also, we go to File and save our project. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to create masks, for example, for the sides where it's steep uh, and for the more flat parts, so we can put grass on top here and on the sides rocks. And here we put sand. So you don't have to paint that manually. Uh, there is a relatively easy way to do that in a world machine. And we will create the maps and reapply them here in the Supreme Commander editor. So thanks for watching.